Hello, and welcome to a quick basic introduction of Concepts, the creative professional sketching and ideation app. My name is Lasse, and today I'm going to introduce you to the very basic functionality of Concepts. I'll be using my 12.9 inch iPad Pro with iOS 11 and the Apple Pencil. I'll start out by showing you how to create a new drawing, how to set up your stylus and choosing and adjusting your tools. I'll also explain a few of the advantages of drawing with concepts, though, as I mentioned, this video is basically a quick start to get you going. It will be followed up with a more thorough walkthrough that will explain the whole range of functions and concepts. If you haven't downloaded or updated the app yet, there is a link in the description for that. Also make sure you've upgraded your device to iOS 11 or later to get the latest version of concepts. The first time you launch Concepts, you'll see a gallery view where you can browse, manage and show off all your drawings and projects. To start drawing, tap the new drawing button on the top left of the screen. The app will create a new blank canvas along with a set of tools to start drawing with. Starting with the interface, this is what we call the tool wheel and it contains 8 configurable tools. Switching between the tools happens by simply tapping on them. If you have a stylus like I do, you can connect it by opening the settings up here. We support all the major ones, so find yours on the list and follow the instructions to connect. Having one for drawing or writing on the iPad is definitely a good investment, as most of them enable functionalities like pressure sensitivity and tilt response to your digital drawing experience. Now back to the tool wheel. You can adjust the tool by tapping the already active tool, which will open the brush menu. In this space, you can select the kind of tool you'd like to use on that specific tool spot and define a selection of presets to go with it. When you get something you like, pull down on the overlay or tap on the side to exit and you'll see that your tool spot has adopted these changes along with the presets you determined. These two arrows floating over here are undo and redo. Tapping with two fingers on the screen will do the same thing, or you can configure that gesture for something else if you prefer. Gestures drive many other actions in the app as well. By placing two of your fingers on the screen and spreading them apart, you can zoom into the drawing. Since what we're drawing is vector-based, the graphics will remain sharp no matter what. As you might guess, doing the opposite allows you to zoom out and panning around your infinite canvas happens by sliding two fingers across the screen. One of the defining features of Concepts is the Selection tool, which is the one here shaped like an arrow pointer. Once active, you have the freedom to select every single stroke and make all kinds of adjustments to it like width or color or even shape just to mention a few. Deselecting happens by tapping outside the selected area. There are a few different ways to select something. If you start your selection at an empty part of the canvas, a crosshair will appear. Drag it onto a stroke and you can select it by lifting your finger or by tapping the screen with another finger. Keep doing this and you'll be able to select multiple strokes at once and then adjust them collectively. Another way of making selections is by using the lasso tool. Tap and hold on the screen, toggle your selection tool by tapping on the item picker down here and once activated you'll be able to lasso several strokes at once by dragging over them. Note that there's also a shortcut for accessing the selection tool and this is the real key to getting the most out of concepts. Let's say you're drawing something with the pen tool for example. All right. Now you can just tap and hold and you're ready to select what you just drew. You can try manipulating the selections during your trial period or go to a store and unlock this ability. There's also many other features like infinite layers, advanced manipulation, PDF import, export, more export formats and other time savers. If you want to sync your concepts preferences or more than one device, you can sign up for a free account from the gallery. Tap the gallery icon on the top left to return and you'll be able to set up your free account by tapping on the profile button or optionally you can find this from the store. If you get stuck on something, check out the help section. 
Here you can find our online manual, step-by-step -step tutorials or get in touch with us directly from Ask Us Anything. We hope this helps you to get started with concepts and you've learned some of the fundamentals. If you want to see more tutorials and other content, go ahead and leave a like and comment on this video. Also subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Until next time, bye bye.